So I have some blonde quinoa here and I have some vegetable stock. One of the key ways to make your grains taste better is to use stock. You can also use herbs. I will sometimes use a bay leaf. You can also use, you know, pretty much any, any dry uh, herbs. So I've got a pan here. This is a heavy bottom pan and I've got this on medium, and I just wanted this to heat up a little bit. I'm gonna dump my quinoa in first, and I want to kind of toast it a little bit. It'll just give it more flavor, kind of a nuttiness. And I've got, so for one cup, I've got one and a half cups of liquid. Could go up higher. Um, it just, it, it depends on like how fluffy you want it. So we're gonna do one cup. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. You can also do this in the microwave, not the toasting part, but the cooking part. So I'm just gonna let this toast up a little bit before I add my liquids. Now finished, this is going to give us about four cooked cups of quinoa. So um, a little goes a long way. One cup equals four cooked. You can keep this in the refrigerator and eat on it all week. You know, add it to salads, soups, main dishes, sides. Quinoa is one of the grains that has all eight essential amino in it. So it is a great replacement for meat because it actually also has protein in it. I'm just gonna let this toast up. Okay, I've let this toast up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my liquid. I'm gonna let that come to a boil and then I will put the lid on it and then just let it let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes. We'll check it at the 15 minute mark. So I want, I actually want a, a total of four cups of liquid in here and I wanna put a little bit of salt as well. So initially I put in one and a half cups. Um, I want four cups total, especially because we're working with stock. So the stock is going to um, evaporate pretty quick. So because we're using stock, we're four cups. Just gonna put the lid on this, let it boil. It's gonna take about 20 minutes. Like I said, we'll check it at 15 minutes and be good to go. So we have about three minutes or so left, but I wanted to show you how you can tell that this is done. There are these little white threads that come out on the quinoa. And that is how you can tell that it is cooked. So I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm just going to take my lid and I'm actually going to wrap it in a clean tea towel and stick that right on top. So I'm just gonna put my tea towel on there. I'll wrap it up. Obviously you wanna make sure that your burner is off and then I'm just gonna push it to the back. And I'm just gonna let this sit. And what's gonna happen is the moisture will get caught in the tea towel and it will separate your grains. You'll have nice fluffy grains. So we'll just let that sit. I'm gonna bring my rice back over so you can take a look at this. Or sorry, my quinoa. Look at that, it's perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit of the quinoa to the bottom. You can also save this and add it to your soup. But I wanted to show you how to cook that up so it's perfect. And you can see we've got those little threads on the quinoa and that tells us that it's done. I don't know if you can see those little threads, little white threads. So last but not least, we're just going to serve this up. Nice big veggie bowl. I've got some cashews here. Just gonna sprinkle on top and a little bit of green onion cut on the bias and you've got yourself a delicious veggie bowl.